Hey guys, welcome to the Chicken and Duck update. I am trying to get these little girls out of the little, uh, little hens, but they won't come out. I'm trying so hard to get them out. I normally I have to keep everyone in. But come on, come on out. Come on, ladies. They're, just, they're not coming out. This one just came out right right away. So since she isn't going to garden, I have her in here for now. She can eat the grass and the weeds and that kind of stuff. Yeah, but these chickens are not coming out. Normally, I have the hardest time keeping them in. Especially when they were younger, they always try getting out. So these girls are staying in here. Well, I guess I just leave the door open and just walk away. They're not going to do anything. That's pretty funny though. So I'm going to be cleaning the coop out. I'm going to be putting maybe one of these things of grass in there. Mainly down at the end here where they lay eggs. They like to like, just kick it out of that area. So I want there to be at least a soft bottom. Gosh, you might put eggs in here, see if they're gonna send any eggs. I might just end up buying duck eggs. That's my, what it come, might come down to. So I want to hatch baby ducks really, really bad this summer. And I think all you guys, I'm pretty sure all you guys want to see that too. Because it's been a long time since I had a hatch. The last hatch I had was like in April, April, and then they left like in June. So it's been a while. So I guess I'm gonna start cleaning without these, with them in here so okay, they really don't want to get out. They just really want to stay in here. So this is most of the west of over here. So I'm going to be emptying one of these bags out and putting this, that stuff, this stuff in here into that bag. But before I do that, let's go see what the ducks are doing. Bucket is still getting medical care. That bucket is actually sleeping right now. Bucket, wake up. Empty back, Bucket is nap time. Fun little blueberry. He keeps cutting his foot up and I keep having to spray it. Um, but he gets, I don't know how he gets hurt so much. Duck's just hanging out here. Their water is super dirty. I definitely clean this water out. He gets his water so dirty in a day. It's insane. You can tell more different one mine there and they drill. Maybe when they drill into the mud. So I'm gonna clean the coop out and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like when I'm done. So here we go. It's cleaned out now and I have grass down instead of hay or straw. Um, this is what we use from the grass. So it's probably like them being outside. You eat the grass they want you scratching it, find bugs in it. And I also gave them fruit too. This is from the garden. Our garden did really, really well. The cantaloupe is, mm, didn't really have much of a taste. The watermelon was the best watermelon I ever had. And so this was even a small one too. We sold that orange when we were in the cup tomorrow, I think but it is so dark red and so sweet. They're gonna enjoy the leftovers on that so you can have that. I guess they can't really go outside too much. So you guys can enjoy. So the ducks are up here. This one's trying to get back in. This one's going through a molt, I believe. There's a lot of fairies inside the coop. And it'll get all over the place with feathers. So this one's literally fairies hanging off too. Like she's going through a molt. I have to go catch Bucko and now it's time for his foot therapy. His daily. His daily routine. Right, Bucko? Giant blueberry duck. He still has that limp though. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go catch Bucko and take him into the bucket and we're gonna start his uh, foot therapy. Hey guys, Bucko's in the tub. He's got the Epsom salt with him in there. So, water's not for all the ups, so it's only soaking his foot. But. I don't think he's getting better. I think he's definitely improved over the last couple weeks. Bucko's like he's really mad at me for putting him in the bucket. Bucko, I'm really sorry, but I'm doing this for your own good. It was still a little bit of daylight left. Maybe about a half hour or so. So the ducks will be returning home soon. Um, they're all down. See, I emptied, the, I emptied the pool out. And now they're all down playing the drain. With the mud. Probably a couple bugs in there, two worms. Probably because of the water. Oh, bless it. Okay, here we go. These are the gloves I use for my spray buckets full of that stuff. Cause that stuff stains like crazy. I'm taking my hands going different colors. Ain't going to work. And explain to why my hands are blue. So, so that's what I've been doing for that. So buckets will be in here for about an hour now, and I'll be taking them out. Um, so until it's probably gonna be dark time to get up. So I'm gonna have the lights, the lights turned on for him. I have the lights on. A little bit of light, so he's you know, he was chilling there and there and soaking. So I think he's pretty used to it by now. He's been in this every day for the last couple weeks. 
So we gotta check back in in about an hour. Okay, it's now bedtime for you guys. Do it check it up there. I'll go down here. It's dark out now, like I said it would be. So it's now time for bed for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's chicken and duck update. And I'll see you guys again tomorrow.